Right dolls, so I'm using two bottles of Adore hair colour. One is cotton candy and the following is pink patel. I've got a pair of gloves because we don't want to get our hands dirty. Make sure you put something down on the surface that you'll be colouring on. I have a bowl, a brush and some conditioner. Make sure that the conditioner you're using is white. It doesn't matter um, the brand or whatever, but make sure that the colour is white. As you can see, that's my hair that I'm going to be colouring right there. So, first things first, I'm just going to get my bowl and I'm going to pour the first bottle of colour in. This colour is actually the cotton candy and you want to be careful, as you can see, I'm literally spilling it everywhere. So, I'm just going to empty that out and I'm going to go in with my conditioner and pour some in it. The reason for pouring the conditioner is into the hair colour is because I want it to be more of a light um, pink colour rather than a dark pink. So um, the more conditioner I add to the colour is the more lighter the pink becomes. So I'm just going to keep doing that until I'm satisfied with how light the hair colour becomes. So once I'm happy with the colour, as you can see there is a lot lighter than when I first poured it into the bowl. I'm just going to go in and um, spread the hair colour onto my wig. Now, um, I made the mistake of not combing through the wig before I colour it. So guys, if you're attempting to do this, make sure you comb through your wig, your bundles, whatever. Make sure you comb through it before you start um, your colouring process. So I'm literally just spreading the colour all over the wig as I want to get every strand of that blonde hair pink so that's what i'm doing right there So once you finish um, one side, you're going to flip over and do the following side. Now, I suggest if this is your first time attempting to do this, that you actually separate your hair in sections. So like it will be easier for you to apply the hair color. As I've done this numerous times, I'm literally just going in and attacking this wig. Literally, I'm just spreading the hair color all over it in no particular order and I'm just attacking it but if as I said if it's your first time you want to just do it in section so that it's a lot easier for you and um as you can see there I ran out of the first um I finished the first bottle so this um bottle is the rose petal and as you can see it's a darker pink it's sort of like a pinkish lilac kind of color and I've added some conditioner to it again and um, adding a little bit more conditioner just to get it a bit lighter and I'm just going to go in and again spread this all over the wig. So when I was mentioning earlier that I should have combed through the hair, this is the reason. It would have been a lot easier for me to, you know, get into the wig and really spread it in. But as I mentioned before, I've done it numerous times, so I know I know it will actually come out good by the time I'm finished with it. It should be pretty cute. So once you've covered all of the hair with the hair colour, you're just going to go in. As you can see there, it's all covered. I've allowed the wig to sit in the hair colour for, like, for about 15 minutes. And I am going to go in and rinse out all of the hair colour. So you want to make sure that you spend some time and just literally go in and rinse out all of the hair colour. You want to make sure that you shampoo it, conditioner it and you can also leave it to sit in some conditioner. The great thing about this is um, I actually 
color the hair using conditioner so it actually gives the hair like a really nice soft feeling for the sake of this video I actually cut out some of the washing process so um, I'm just gonna wash it as I explained to you before and then I'm gonna leave allow the hair to hair dry And so this is what the hair looked like after I finished washing it and I'm just going to leave it to air dry. It looks pretty good so far like it's a really nice pink colour but I'll only see the true colour once it has been fully dried and I'm ready to style it. and yes i love it it is such a beautiful pink color it turned out really really pretty i'm absolutely loving this pink love it so guys um i hope you was able to follow this video and i hope you enjoy it if you have any question please leave them down below don't forget to like comment and subscribe and as usual Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Damn, she's loving it. Bye-bye. <laughs>